Good day and welcome to AD Manager Plus online training session. I will be providing you an online training session on AD Manager. And in this session, I will provide you quick introduction on AD Manager Plus and a high level view of why people require AD Manager Plus to administrate and generate reports on Active Directory objects. So let's just go ahead and provide you with quick introduction. AD Manager Plus is a web-based product that provides centralized administration and generate and view gradual reports of users, computers like inactive users, disabled users, inactive computers, etc. You can create and delegate security roles and grant and revoke permissions to security principles. You can search ACE and AD objects. So let's just go ahead and uh, log into AD Manager Plus. So once you install AD Manager Plus, as you can see, this is the login screen of AD Manager. And by default, you would be having three logins. The first login uh, you're going to see is like the AD Manager Plus admin login, where you have to provide admin, admin as a username and password. However, I will let you know how to change the password in the later session. So this is like by default AD Manager Plus admin login where you have to provide admin, admin username and password and log into AD Manager Plus authentication. The second login is the help desk technician login where the help desk technician would be using his AD credential that is AD login to log into our product AD Manager Plus. And, uh, and he can perform the task that has been delegated to him. The third login is the domain user login where the end user or the domain users can themselves change his or her contact and address attributes. So let's just go ahead and log in as an administrator for AD Manager Plus. So once I log into AD Manager Plus, uh, you can see it will provide you uh, the dashboard view. Okay, so what exactly is this? This will provide you a graphical representation of number of users, computers, and groups available in your Active Directory. As you can see, I have configured four domains. So I will be able to view four graphical representation of the domains that I have configured. Okay, and as you can see, uh, it will provide you uh, with the number of users, inactive users so you need not have to generate the report every time okay so it will just provide you uh, and update you uh, about your domain however if you want to if you want to know the latest update then you can just click on uh, update dashboard and if you want to uh, update a user report system report or other reports just click on ok and the report will be updated and now you would be getting the latest update that is available in your Active Directory. And another important thing is like, once you install AD Manager Plus, it will auto discover your domain and domain controller. So you do not have to configure it manually. However, uh, just take an example scenario like, uh, you need to add more domain and domain controllers, okay? So this can be possible. You have to click on the domain setting page for that. I will just click on domain setting page and there you will find like I have configured four domains. However, if you want to configure additional domain, just click on add new domain, provide with the domain name and click on discover to discover the domain controller. However, you can also add them if it is not able to discover it. Then you can just add them and once this is done kindly tick mark authentication and provide domain username and password
So here we are going to provide domain username and password so that uh, we can perform read and write task using any manager plus. Okay, so here using this username and password is going to perform the read and write task. Okay, any, any of the modifications that you're going to perform, this can be done. And now you can see uh, we have just added a new domain. So it's very simple. You can just uh, click on add new domain and can, and can add new domain uh, and configure into AD Manager Plus. And you have like, the f uh, there are four different icons that comes under action, okay, column. So for the first icon is, is used to make the domain default. So by uh, as you can see, uh, right now, ADMP is the domain, which is default domain set under uh, AD Manager Plus. So if you want to set the newly created domain as a default domain, it's very simple. Just click on the first icon to make it default. Now you can see a small, a small check mark is available on the first domain, okay? However, if you want to add uh, more domain controllers to your existing domain, it's also very simple. Uh, you just have to click on the second icon which states edit domain detail and can add more domain controllers by clicking on the add icon, okay? You can see the add icon or if you want to remove, if you can make use of the remove to remove the domain controllers. However, if you want to arrange them, just take an example if you want to arrange or if you want to make ADMP hyphen DC5 as a primary or the first one, you can just check mark the arrow and click on save. So in this manner, you can add uh, uh, multiple domain controllers to existing domains. The third icon is used to refresh domain. Okay, so uh, so uh, if you want to synchronize data between your Active Directory and AD Manager Plus, uh, you, you can click. You can just click on the third icon and you can just update it manually. But let me uh, l let me just uh, provide you with with an update. Like uh, AD Manager Plus will auto synchronize the data between uh, Active Directory uh, and AD Manager Plus at every day 1 a.m. in the morning. Okay, and the, the last icon is used to delete the domain. At any point, if you, if you think that you no longer require the domain, you can just click on the last icon and can delete the domain. So this is about the domain setting page. And in the later session, I will update you with uh, AD management, AD reports, AD delegation, and the admin tab. I believe, and with this, we end this training session. Uh, I believe uh, you'd have enjoyed this training session. This training session, and um, uh, at any point, if you require any technical assistance, kindly click on the support tab, and you can raise a ticket by clicking on request support, or you can just contact us to our toll free number. Thank you for your time, and have a nice day. Bye bye.